and welcome to Digital Photography One MCOM 2610 for Fall 2020, Department of Journals and Mass Communication. Um, the, this um, tutorial will cover pretty much the website and some of the structure of the class. So I've set up a website specifically for this class, which is where you'll find, if you look at the headings here, information about your cohorts, which are in-person cohorts on Tuesdays, two separate cohorts to reduce the number of students in class and exposure. Um, the readings, which are all scheduled kind of by date and by, by, by concept, by, by topic. The um, image editing is mostly um, readings about the things that we're going to do in the lab in terms of photo working with Photoshop and Adobe Bridge, and then some online um, resources and references for you. So the website itself, um, down here at the bottom, I, um, I have an introduction to about the class in terms of its cohorts and also about the camera reservation system. So our priority here is designing a flipped hybrid kind of class that'll keep you safe for the whole semester. The difference from this, this class from other classes that I've taught in digital photography is that you can go through the whole class using nothing but your smartphone and still do well. So it's not it's not required that you use the DSLR cameras, although there are lots of le lectures and lessons about using that format. But really what we're teaching is basic fundamentals of photography, camera control, exposure through the aperture, shutter speed, and ISO, composition, different principles of composition in photography, and then telling stories with your camera. And then we do that through um, th these two things on this, uh, this heading here, are your cohorts. Again, those are your Tuesday, Tuesday meetings. And they're, um, you can click here. You also can find this information on Blackboard as well. So your cohorts are here. And that's when you'll be meeting. Here's our 1 to 210 class and then the 230 to 340 class. Below here is the schedule of all the times where you can reserve equipment and, pick and return equipment. So you'll be using a, and you'll get a reservation, a link to a reservation site to check out equipment. First, you'll have to register for the site and they follow the instructions there. But notice that there's lots of times where you can, you can uh, pick up and return cameras. Um, I ask that you not try to just drop off a camera when you feel like it's convenient for you, because if I'm not available I, to really clean the equipment and take care of it when it comes in, and I need, need to um, not take it. So we have a 48 hour checkout period for the cameras. So to talk a little bit about the labs, the labs are designed to teach them skills on Photoshop and Bridge. You'll be getting licenses that you can, um, it'll be your own license for this, for this semester. And you will be able to put that on your, your home computer and log into Adobe Creative Suite and do the work in your in your dorm room or at home. And um, however, the labs will be in person, or we can um, I'll be right there to answer questions. I'll also be recording them on Zoom, so you'll be able to see that as well. So we don't know what's going to happen this semester, but we want to be prepared as best we can for any eventuality. Um, I would encourage you to look around at the site, look at these different headings and all the things we're covering, look at the assignments that we have, some good assignments, not quite as many in the past, and also know that you could do these on a smartphone camera as well as um, through the, using DSLRs. With the smartphone cameras, your native programs with like an iPhone or Samsung um, are not as good as many of the apps that are available for controlling shutter speed, shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. So I encourage you to look at the, app, the um, articles I have put on here about smartphone apps. Um, it's really comprehensive. There's really cool stuff that you can do um, with your smartphones. I'm not really focused on using a lot of filters and gimmicks, but I, I'm more more concerned about actually being able to control the manual exposure to shutter speed and um, also be able to shoot in RAW. So there's many, many apps out there. 
lots of apps. And I critique a lot of these and I, I talk about them on my on my website here. So I would encourage you there. Um, Blackboard is available, of course, and um, the biggest thing is that what you'll find is our drop boxes for your assignments and quizzes. So here we can see quizzes that are due on August 30th are so right here um, based on the reading readings that we do. Um, and that's that's primarily what Blackboard will be used for. It's just organizing where you submit your work for grades. So I hope you have fun with this class. It's been um, really interesting preparing it for both the online and in-person format, as well as using smartphones and the DSLR cameras.